Hi, I'm Dr. Amanda Rockinson Zapku, and I'm in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to calculate Chromebox Alpha. Chromebox Alpha is a value that demonstrates reliability, and it demonstrates how different items on a scale or a subscale are correlated. And so here in my data set, I have the classroom community scale. I have two subscales, both connect and learn. So what I'm going to do to calculate Chromebox Alpha to determine the reliability of the scale within my sample is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to Analyze. And then I'm going to come down to Scale. And here you'll see Reliability Analysis. I'm going to click Reliability Analysis. Now here, what I want to do is in the item section, I want to put all the items I want to know if they're, they're correlated or not. So I'm going to do a subscale here. So every one of my learn subscale items, I'm going to stick in this item uh, box here. So here you'll see um, I have 10 items. And so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go ahead and click all 10 items and move this over to the item uh, box here. And what I'm doing is I'm, I have control uh, hit down and so I'm going ahead and highlighting each item while I have control hit and I'm going to move them all over the item. So here can you, you can see I moved them all over the item. I'm going to hit statistic. And so I want the descriptive, uh, the mean and standard deviation for each and every one of my items for my scale. I want to know if any of the items are different, like they're irregular. So I'm going to hit scale if item is deleted. That means that like if the if I delete this item, does it increase my uh, Chromebox Alpha value or my reliability? So I have item scale and item if deleted. I can also look at mean and standard or variance like standard deviation and everything, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to hit continue. And um, here, the, my model is alpha because I want my Chromebox uh, alpha correlation coefficient value. And I'm going to hit OK. So now I have all this information. So really what I'm concerned about whenever I have this output in SPSS is what is my reliability statistic? Usually when you interpret Chromebox, a Chromebox alpha value, to have good reliability, you want above a 0.7. So here you can see Chromebox Alpha's uh, coefficient value is above a 0.7. It's 0.787 for my subscale, and I have all 10 items here. And then as I scroll down, I have my other information. What's interesting here, you can see if scale mean if deleted, um, and then Chromebox Alpha item if deleted. So I can look here and see if I delete any of my items, does it increase my Chromebox Alpha value? As you can see, it really doesn't. There isn't one value that's an outlier. So I go can go ahead and report that I have good reliability for this subscale and my Chromebox because my Chromebox val alpha value is 0.787. So as you are cleaning your data, as you're looking at your data, something you always want to look at is what is my reliability um, for a validated or norm scale for my specific sample population. And so one of the ways you can do that is look at Chromebox alpha value.